Well, tonight, controversy in a small town. Folks standing up for a friend who has been banned from the local post office. They say he has a perfectly good reason to be there. WSFA 12 News reporter Judd Davis with a story he found somewhere out along County Road 12. Stand it myself personally. Uh... Willie Moss isn't alone. There's a crowd gathering outside the Notasoga Post Office and they want answers. I don't know. We don't know. They want to know why their friend Sammy, a longtime resident, is banned from the building. He doesn't bother us so. Sammy's got more friends in Notasoga than any other individual I know. Most of the time he just slept right over on that table. Okay, this is Sammy. So what's going on out here today? Well, we're supporting Sammy. It all started when one upset customer sent a letter to the postmaster. They said this was a federal building and that he didn't pay federal taxes and he had no business in here. So they're all joining forces to get Sammy back on the inside. And who better to lead this team than legendary Auburn football coach Pat Dye. We ain't worried about football, we worried about the cat. <laughs> And the coach has plenty of help. He's got a box and I paid for it just a few minutes ago. So you bought Sammy his own post office box? 173 is his post office box. 173. A cat with his own mailbox. You got two keys to it. And the key to this plan, stick together. And you know it's important when Auburn and Tennessee can join forces for a common cause. And he said he thinks Phil Fulmer was coming up. I saw Coach Fulmer coming up from around the corner. One of the pleasures of living in a small town like this is having a post office cat. I think it's a good little town. I've been here over 50 years. Sammy is a lot more at home around here than a fellow wearing a Tennessee sweatshirt and a Tennessee hat is. I can tell you that. <laughs> so for now, Sammy is trying to keep his record and his tail clean on the outside, hoping that one day soon he can reclaim his favorite spot for a cat nap. Until that happens, a big cat fight going on right there. <laughs> with photojournalist Jeff Harrison, I'm Judd Davis in Notasoga with Sammy the Cat at Long County Road 12. Uh, folks were asked to show their support to their feline friend, and you can too, by writing to Sammy the Cat at Post Office Box 173, that's his box in Notasalka, 36866. Now, this new development, late this afternoon, postal officials say they have taken down the sign banning Sammy the Cat, but they still say they'll try to keep him outside most of the time. But I'm sure he'd still love to get your letters. If you have an idea for a County Road 12 story, send us an email to countyroad12 at wsfa.com.